How's it going everyone? It's Will the Roofer here and you're watching Build of A&E. Starting a new job today, finally on the Cov job. I'm looking forward to this one. If you look up there, pretty colossal. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of this ladder and show you what we're doing. Good morning everyone, if you look now you can see what me and Jay are trying to achieve. We started from the back first and we basically worked our way around here, setting out similar to this all the way around, making sure that all these buttons line up all the way around because that's the main thing that we got with this job here. You can see yesterday, me, Jay and Connor, we smashed it yesterday so we got this all done, pretty much filled in. You can see I've left a few buttons out here because I've got a bit of lead work and stuff to do there first. So once we get that lead work and all that, then that'll all get battened on afterwards, okay? Yesterday I wanted to do a, have a really good day and I really wanted to get this all filled in yesterday. So fair play to me and the lads. We absolutely smashed it yesterday. We literally came from all the way there and got this in as well, which then allowed us so now crack on basically and just fill these bits in. All we gotta do now, if you see there, Jay is getting all the bits of band cut. At the moment he's gonna get about six cut. We've managed to get a, like a sort of a measurement that roughly about 101 coming down there. So Jay's gonna get a few cut for us, gonna get up there, put them in and literally just work our way down. All that we gotta do now, because we've done this and we've got this here, all we gotta do is line it up there to here, there, here. That's pretty much what we're doing this morning, getting this section in. Once this section's done, we're just going to work our way around and get onto that side. So yeah, normally a lot of people you'll see, they leave little bits and stuff. I'm not leaving it. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to work my way around to there. So we have to, I like to keep like, getting stuff done as we're working our way around here. Yeah? So we're not leaving snags and stuff like that. Because once you start leaving snags at the end of a job, it becomes annoying and you don't like doing it and you don't enjoy it and you fall out of love. So get the hard bits done as you come up to it. And that's how we roll. You've seen Jay getting them all cut and stuff like that. I just want to show you what Jay's actually doing though, okay? So we've got up on the roof, we've got Jay's up there now. He's putting those bits of batten in, okay? So into the valley cut, we're going to have an angle like that, okay? So the reason we have that angle is to follow the valley coming down. We have an angle like that, okay? And then we've got a measurement, which is 101. So we go there, okay? Get on our pencil mark, we're gonna go 101. Right, okay. Now if you see the angle on this one, it's coming in on itself. Now we don't wanna do the same on this one, coming in on itself, because it's gonna be sitting on top of the hip, yeah? So when we go on the, sitting on the hip angle, it's coming down like that, okay? So always you gotta remember, when I do my measurement, I'm doing it from long point, to a short point, okay? Because that's my shortest point, and then I want to cut away from that, yeah? So you get your measurement, you get your mark, you get your angle, I mean, obviously I'm guessing my angle, so I'm not gonna be too perfect with it, it doesn't really matter. But you can also see as well, look how far away my hand is from the actual saw. Okay, I'm nowhere near it. There's no point cutting a saw like that, because if you do, and it bounces, you know what's gonna happen, people? Wallop. Uh, and I think we've all been there <laughs> and we don't want to do it today. We don't want to trip to the hospital. So always remember, yeah, keep it a good distance away and let the blade do the work. And I'll see these little bits on here. We don't ever leave these little bits on here, okay? Because what they can do is if they're like that or something like that, you put it down, that could put a hole in the felt, not good. So just quickly get rid of that, nice and smooth, okay? And I'm just going to repeat that process, what? <laughs> a few times. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, and then we got that bit there. Will we get another one out of that length? No, we won't, but we ain't gonna throw that away, okay? Keep that, because that'll be used somewhere on the roof, whether it'll be a little cut at the top there, or just somewhere. We end up using it somewhere. Got a few of these. Let's get them up there, shall we? Hey, hey, hey. There we go. How's it going everyone? Plan for this job so far was, if you look there, I'll try and get it for you, but that bit of pattern there, round about there, has gone like that, 
and it's gone down that side of the roof down the front side of the roof and it's come down the back and we've lined it all up together and it's yeah it's about 20 mil 20 mil out something like that the difference between the batten on this side which is just up there like that somewhere so that's the same one so that goes around that side that one goes down that way and basically they've all lined up all the way around and we're about 20 mil out over the span of about i think it's 3.7 i think we worked it out to be so over that span we'll have to open it up or something like that and it comes i work, think it works out like 101 mil or something like that today's plan we're going to be working on this section here first going up there we're going to have connor down the bottom he's going to be cutting band getting it all ready for us once we've got that section done we're going to move on to here we're going to smash that out let's get cracking Hey guys, good morning to you. So it's Monday morning, we've got a big week in front of us, we've got a lot to get done this week. I've got the scaffolds coming down to strip down the side elevation and allow us then to get the scaffold off the main roof so we can then get on with the two-story extension. I've then got then brickies potentially turning up this week, so I've got to make sure I'm loaded out and decked out, ready for them on the health and safety for the side. I've then got Will, uh, Jamie and Connor cracking on with the roof, doing an awesome job of the roof. I've got Mark and Ollie internally then doing the floor joists and then putting the chipboard flooring down. And then I've got Alex internally then stripping some brickwork down. And then I can then have a look around the side, jump onto anything that needs to be done. And then obviously bring the data sheet up to space. So let's go and have a look at what's going on. Let's go. So what we've got here at the moment, we've had some more thermalites dropped off. Obviously we've got the bricks already been here, skits now have been changed over for us. Been able to get out some old uh, OSB that we can use as cover boards, just to give us a bit of a walkway area. And then we're just now starting to clear down some of the rubbish from upstairs. You can actually see Alex starting to do an amazing job up here and cut all this out, because it needs to all come out so we can build up here, so we can actually then get these floor joists in. Because we've got the G deck in here, how cool is that? So you can see here, Pete's done, been doing a great job. He's sort of well out of the way. Pete got all the relevant double turns into here. Got the relevant uh, steel all cladded here. Got the steel which is cladded here as well. And then what he's then done, he's got it all cross logging on the peripherals. Double trimmers in there, hangers into here. We then got then I left and got the steels in, but Pete's like absolutely smashed it. He's cracked all the relevant timbers in all the way through here as well got all the relevant timbers in through here and the reason you're probably thinking tell why have you got this hole here well if you can imagine when all the stud walls go up and things like that we need to be able to make sure we can get the four inch soil pipe through the stud wall down below so you don't actually then see the soil pipe go out what's going to happen is you can see that soil pipe down there and it comes through and there's actually a stud wall just here so it means that you don't actually then see the soil pipe in there through the floor here you don't then see it down below which is really really good and uh, what we now got to do is put another joist through here which we're going to do and then we've got to build up that section here which allows us then to run some then joists across like this which is then part of this flat roof section all the way through here this is part of the two-story extension running around over there coming all the way along here 
all the way along here and then returning back in onto here so that's all part of the two-story and then we drop down then to the cold roof section which is this bit here and this stay as the cold roof because this is the garage and obviously we've got to put an upstand in here to allow us then to build this up and then obviously we can seal it and flash it correctly which will and jay and connor will do but i'm really pleased it's come on really really well since i've been away the lads have really cracked on and, and got a lot done we've got a bit of a funny detail here because obviously we've got a warm roof going on and want the fascias to be quite small as well so obviously the way we've cut and tied those over so what we've got going on here alex is doing a cracking job of the uh, the brickwork pulling that together we've got a reveal that we've got to do and clad the side here because what we've got is actually a pitched roof we've got to put the wall plate onto here Pitch roof then goes up onto there on a vertical. It's just a detail the architect to put in. This is why I like this G decking. Look at this. You just get into the smallest of places. It works really, really well. This is this funny detail that you can see. We've got the fillet strips to go on. Then we've got the insulation and then the ply then on top, ply down belief. So obviously the build up, we're to try and keep the fascia really quite small. And that's why we've just done this L-shaped detail on the on the actual uh, flat roof joist. And what Alex is gonna be doing, is gonna be building up this and then obviously then getting these joists together. And that's my mission. And then obviously to put a load of ply temporary sheets on top of here. So when we can get it loaded out for the bricky. But let's go and have a look upstairs and uh, I can show you some of the stuff that we're going upstairs. Okay, guys. It's looking really good, guys, isn't it? Uh, bathroom uh, section over there with the plywood over there. It's actually a massive loft space, isn't it, guys? Yeah, absolutely huge. And you can see you've got the chicken mesh in here that the guys have done and obviously the rock walls in there as well. And then we started to cut back all of the irrelevant ceiling joists. Mark came up with a great idea over there to give the client more floor space. We're doing a suspended floor engineer calculate what we need to do so we're doing that all of that steel work will get hidden within inside the stud work so it's a great shout that mark isn't it mate get in boom <laughs> rest of it got all this cut in got it all taped up we haven't finished it yet obviously because we're gonna have to reinstate that it's absolutely massive this loft isn't it great space but we've got the plaster board insulation going on to here it's come together really well and the stairs arrives in about two weeks time. It'll be even better when the stairs comes here, through, through here and up. So yesterday, we had a great day. First thing we've done was we got me and the lads, we got this all loaded out. So we had Jay at the top, me in the middle, Connor at the bottom. Look at that sackage. <laughs> we had to split the team up a little bit then. So what we did is we had myself, went on back of the house doing them dormers, started getting all the batten on there. And then I left the lads on this bit here to start cracking on with the tiling. You know, just try and get a bit more, get a bit, make it look good for the customer. We had Connor on the bottom. So Connor's new to the game. So what we're doing is we're getting him just working on the bottom here where he's nice and comfortable. So it's a double nail on the eave, double nail on the next course above that. And then it's miss five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're putting another double nail into that course there. And you can see we've got a little squiggly line. Every fifth course is a squiggly line. So that's just the reminders that we know we've got to nail that course. Okay, and as always, double nail. Today's plan, more of the same, cracking on and getting the job done. So let's keep going. So, I've been sent a little packing. Now I want to say what's in the box, but you kind of already know, because he's got it written across there. So, I've already got a big softie, and I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love it, and I use it all the time. So to be sent another big softie, all right, let's see what's in here, shall we? I've not actually looked at this yet, so I do know it's a big softie, though. Ah! <laughs> look at that bad boy. Hey, come here, man, come look at this. Well, it's leather. <laughs> new material. Right. It's iron as well. It's so a sweet, isn't That's it? much lighter than the old. That's a lot different, isn't it? It does feel light. It feels bigger as well. Does that feel bigger? No. Big right. softy. Big softy. Right, so okay, straight off the bat, what I noticed is that it's leather on it. So that's going to be interesting to see how that works, because the old one uh, had obviously like a material one, but that was really comfy, so I did like that one. So the fact that we've got leather on it now is going to be interesting. Can't wait to use it. The big softy, it was here which is opposite to the part where it goes on through the ladder. Uh, but they've obviously moved it down now, so that's better. So it is 
Yeah. Let's move down. So you can put it on now, you can have Big Softy there. Buzzing, thank you very much, Big Softy. Uh, so I've got one now, and Jay's got one as well. So we've got two, so I'm really grateful for that. Thank you very much. I'll be using that very soon. Thank you. What Igor's doing at the moment is just putting up the old trusses because the client obviously changed the mind and said that they wanted to put a loft trusses into the new extension, which is a great cool idea because obviously that will then give them a walking wardrobe, make a different total dynamic to the loft space, which is absolutely awesome already. Alice now working on is going to be doing on the pad floor over there as well because he's getting all the block work ready for us to then get the joists in tomorrow. That's what those timbers are for there. Got some uh, LBC heathers, uh, we've got two leaves. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is get them over there, get them loaded out, because Alex needs them over the back over there so he can crack on and get that done because the garage, would you believe, has been done out of LBC heathers. Some timber and plasterboard that's just been delivered for the loft. So first thing in the morning, we're gonna get it up there. Probably takes about an hour to get that up. We've got a load of 4x2 to go up into the loft to use for stud work as well. We've had a really, really good week so far. Uh, what we've been doing is we're getting all four prepped for the staircase because as you walk up the main staircase coming up through here, we're gonna have a lovely ball nose coming through here and then you can actually walk up the staircase, go across and then come up, up onto the double trimmers which are over here. So we've had to take out all of this wall all the way along. So then we're going to reinstate a wall back here. And then this is going to be a toilet on the first floor. And the staircase is going to go into that section there. It's come out really cleanly. Cut the rest of the ceiling out. Lads are cracking upstairs. Getting that done really, really well up there. So I'm here now at the unit. I've got to grab the washers that have just arrived because we need them for the insulated board. So here are the washers. This is what matter. These are the things that I'm going to be using to hold the insulated plasterboard up on the vaulted part of the ceiling in the loft conversion. So let's get them to the commentary job. I've then got to get off to uh, Bill Base to pick up some lint tools and then pick up the Tony Light from Northumberland. So here we go guys, see you in a bit, take care. So guys, a massive, massive thank you to all you people that's been on this journey with us this year. It has been a crazy year, hasn't it, guys? I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We've got an amazing year in front of us. We've got a huge collaborations coming in. We're actually going abroad a couple of times as well to do some collaborations. So we want to take you on that journey. We're going to also mix it up next year. We're going to bring some new stuff to you as well. And I can't thank you guys enough for being on this journey with us. We couldn't do this journey without you guys. And all I can say is a massive thank you and have an awesome Christmas break and New Year. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next year. Take care guys.